It was a special salute today for law enforcement officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. We know just how risky that job can be. And Felice Romano explains how our state recognized seven men who gave the ultimate sacrifice. In Santa Fe, a permanent reminder stands, acknowledging the men and women in law enforcement who made the ultimate sacrifice. The names of officers and sheriff's deputies who lost their lives in the line of duty etched in stone. Today they join the 210 other fallen heroes of New Mexico memorialized here. Seven more names were added today, bringing the total to 217. These men were consummate professionals known by their colleagues and in their communities as the guys you could really count on. During the induction ceremony, each officer was recognized and the families of each officer received a flag in honor of their lost loved ones. Though specifically memorialized today, New Mexico State Police Sergeant Thomas Vitale, he suffered a medical episode after transporting an uncooperative suspect for a mental health evaluation in 2018 and died. Colfax Undersheriff Jeffrey Montoya who contracted COVID-19 while on duty in 2021, as did Curry County Deputy Charles Vanata, who passed from the virus in January of 2022. Santa Fe Officer Robert Duran lost his life during a pursuit on I-25. Officers believe they were chasing a man who was holding a woman hostage. Now that woman, Gianine Jaramillo, is accused of making the whole thing up. Also recognized were Bernalillo County Undersheriff Larry Corin, Deputy Michael Levison, and Lieutenant Fred Beers. They, along with Rescue Specialist Matthew King of the Bernalillo County Fire Department, were assisting with a wildfire in Mora County last year when their chopper went down. There's not a day that we are not reminded of the New Mexico lives saved by brave men and women present here today and not present today. All seven men added to the memorial to not only honor their sacrifice, but to be sure we never forget. Feliz Romero, KOB4.